What's going on YouTube fam? Micah here with the family shooting another high adventure video. The old man's in the rocks, it already looks like pops. Uh, guys, today is high adventure, but for the main course, it is a throwdown. Another catch and cook throwdown. You've asked for it, you want it. Dude, it's really a medley. It's whatever uh -huh. we want it to be what, today. You can even add crawdads to your dish. It's just whoever makes the best dish yep. today. Yep, the best dish, and it's whatever fish you want to choose. If you can catch crappie, perch, bass, I don't know, catfish might be I'm out of the season. A sturgeon. There you go. I, you know, you might have some legal issues with that, but if you're okay with that, then, you know, do it. Do what feels good because we're in the middle of October right now. There is a nice nip in the air. The water temperature is starting to fall. Let's see if we can get on some fish, guys. As always, we've got me ancient as the, the judge, judge today. I'm the judge. He loves that I have position. The best job in the world. Absolutely. So let's get fishing. Today I'm going to be targeting the panfish, the perch, the crappie. I have some custom handmade jigs made by hand from my good friend Tyler. He ties all these himself. We've got the Gruden. We've got Miss Atomic Bomb. We've got, uh, I've got currently actually tied on the Grinch. That's what I'm going to be starting off the day with. He calls them Bomb Jiggities. These are custom jigs that he makes. I'm going to put a link in the description below. You guys can go check those out. Hit him up if you want him to make you some. I mean, I've got all kinds of good looking colors. The Fiery Phoenix. That looks pretty sweet right there. Uh, and he's got so many more. I know he just came out with the joker is another color that he just came out with so guys hit him up check out this link that i put in the description below and get after him if you want some of these jigs while we sit over the school i'm going to try to tip my grinch bomb jiggity with some crawdad tail meat that i caught earlier this fall before it got too cold in fact you go check out that video in this link right here but uh we're gonna give that a try got him it's a crappie. Old man's it's a big that's one. a nice it's crappie. A nice Whoa, Whoa, check that out. CJ, that's a good crappie. Heck yeah. That's a nice looking crappie. Nice. Yep. Pops is on the board first today. Oh, I just got bit. Guys, check this out. We're rolling through like a school. We're in 50 feet of water and we're rolling through a school of something. It must be those crappie down there at about 15 feet, even though we sit at 50 feet of water. So we're going to get our bomb jiggities down there. See if we can't match what, what, uh, what the old man just brought up. So we got the bumblebee right here. I'm gonna try this one. What happened? I got one. I got one. I saw my line just kind of go off to the side. I just dropped it. I thought this is about 15 feet. I got a perch. Check this oh, out. Nice. I wanted yeah. a perch, guys. I wanted a perch for the cook off. Yes. On Tyler's bomb jiggity. Thank you, Tyler. I've only met Tyler once. It was on the day that we went ice fishing, and uh, I'll never go ice fishing again. <laughs> I am totally joking, Tyler. No, that was that wasn't your fault. Went out for eight hours though, guys, and we fi ice fished and uh, didn't catch anything. And there's the winning fish for the cook-off. There we go. Number two. <laughs> oh, you got one? No, no, no. Perch. perch. You want to keep a perch? Sure. Let's throw All him right. in there too. I'm using a Dry Creek Outfitter uh, little, craw. A little craw. Little cool. Craw. Nice. Boom. Got him. There we go. It's a perch. Sure. Perch on the bomb jiggity. Nice size perch too. Nice. Woo! The Grinch bomb jiggity gets it done. Eight inch perch, first one of the day. I've got a feeling there are gonna be many more to come. So guys, check this out. We were hitting them at about 15 feet. Now we're finding a massive ball down at about 30 feet. They've moved down about 15 feet. Let's see if we can't get in on them. Got him. There we go. Just load it on. Another fat perch. Look at that. There's a plumpy nice, one. Dude. That's a porker. Look at that. Woo. Oh, nice, bro. I got one too. We had doubles. Ace got one as well. Ace got oh, I got a crappie. crappie. My first crappie out. of the day. Look at that, guys. Crappie, <laughs> perch, same school. That's on awesome. the I switched to a look at this Sartreuse bomb jiggy. I don't know what color that is. Oh, like. I like it. I believe that's called electric limelight. Electric limelight. I'm using doubles. Ooh, nice. And the perch one, or the crappie one, and the bottom one. Ooh. Nice job, bro. Yes, look we're doing it, man. Bomb Jiggity's making it happen. 
Yeah. Look at that mess of fish. Guys, we haven't even back, what, like an hour? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe an hour. And I've thrown two back. All right, guys, so we've thrown the rain gear on. We have a little cloud overhead, but fortunately we came prepared. These fish are still slamming they down are. there. They are. Uh, so hopefully this will blow overhead pretty soon because this is a fantastic day. We are in on some fish in here. I don't know why I'm standing around. I'm going to get back down there. Got him. I was trying to let it sink. Another perch. And another decent size. We'll toss him back, guys, because actually, honestly, that's actually small compared to the standards we've been getting recently. Hey, just catching up. Oh, I got one. Or maybe two, because I have doubles on. Nope, just a nice size perch. A very aggressive perch. I'm very... Try filleting some of these perch up. Uh huh. There we go. Another fatty perch. Look at this. Good knit. Look at that, guys. Pretty fish. Woo! This is fun. I want to measure one of these. Do we have a tape measurer? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna see how long this fish is. Officially almost 11 inches. Almost 11 inch perch. That's what we're getting out here. That is awesome. I would not have guessed it was that long. That's pretty cool. fish. Pretty fun. <laughs> no, you mean so I'm gonna call you, but you can't ask who. <gasps> Crappy! Yes! How long this fish is. It's a pretty crappie, but he's maybe a tiny bit just just since we're small. catching so many, we're a little bit small, so I'm gonna throw them back. Alright, so we got double bomb jiggities tipped with a night crawler. Let's see what we can do with that. I got one. You got one? Uh-huh. It's decent. <laughs> I snagged him by the tail. I've never uh, had that before. I've never actually. snagged a fish by the tail. Well, Tyler, your uh, hooks are so sharp, they even, you know, you just have to drag it through those crappie and it gets them. <laughs> that is too funny. Scoop him! <laughs> yes! Oh, water in the eye. <laughs> that is funny. Guys, look at that, a double. Look at that slab bluegill. I've caught all three panfish today. Bluegill, perch, oh, and crawdad. Here we go. Miss Atomic Bomb with a little bit of crawdad tipped on it. Doesn't get better than that right there. Look at that, they literally move. They're like, I've seen these bomb jiggities before. Oh, look at that one. Oh, annihilation. Look at that, just ate it up. Woo. Great. Oh, Goldie. Now, you know, when you pull them through a spool, you're going to foul hook up here. Wow, like that guy. That is the second time I've hooked one of them in the fin, guys. It's bomb jiggity time. Woohoo! That. Miss Atomic Bomb gets it done. Coming in hot. Yes! Guys, the rain is gone. It is now a gorgeous fall afternoon. This water is almost like glass out here right now. Absolutely beautiful day of fishing. Oh yeah, it's a tipped one. Alright folks, we got an array of fish. I'm just going to start flaying a bunch. We have a whole bunch of the live well. We're just going to, oh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you lose? A perch. Anyway, um, I'm just going to fillet up a bunch and I'm just going to pick the most delicious looking place, fillets, to cook up my dish. Guys, we have got a whole production going on here. What you got, Pops? 
Nice perch. perch. Another fatty perch. They're between about 10 to 12 inches. My bro Ace right now, he's throwing down, he's cooking, or he's not quite cooking up, but he's uh, filleting some of these fish up right now. A beautiful little perch fillet right there. Fantastic, that looks really good. Uh, fry that back with. Woo -hoo! The cook off is getting ready to go down. We're gonna clean up the rest of these fish and then it's on like Donkey Kong. All right gang, the judge is fishing, going for some bass. Ace has all his stuff. Look I at that. got my secret. Wow. Look, I've never tried this before. This particular flavor, I've tried all kinds of Louisiana products, but this flavor, Cajun crispy fish mm. fry. That is his uh, angle for the day. It looks like you've got all kinds of angles over there, bro. I'm make, also making, well, I'm making fish sandwiches actually. But this time I'm doing something different. Instead of a big thick bun like I did last time, basically I had hoagie bread, I've got thin bread so you can taste more of the fish. Wow, wow, he's really throwing it down. Guys, I just went for another simple recipe today. <laughs> well, we you won last out. time with your simple recipe. That's true, that is true. So let me go show you guys. This is my side of the boat over here. Definitely not, uh, on your side not <laughs> as intense as Ace's side, but uh, let's get started. All right guys, as I mentioned before, I'm not going as crazy as my bro Ace is going, but this is what's thrown down, butter. I've got a little salt and pepper, there we go. but here, on, oh, the old man's got one here. We got to go find out what this is. Oh yeah, what is that? Trout? Oh, it's a big trout. Whoa. Oh, the net, boys. Whoa, I'll get you the net. Normally. Ace, you want to get I'll the net? Rabbit. I'm net man. Pandemonium. Big trout. Oh, it's like a steelhead looking thing. Look at the bait. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. That's a big old piggy. Whoa, he's... Look at that beautiful fish. Right, take it. Uh, do you want to eat them, Pops? I'll cook oh, them up yeah. for you. Let's, I mean, not right now, but... Yeah. Cool. Guys, guys, this is cool because trout are fairly rare here at CJ Strike. Um, I know some guys troll for them, but it's definitely not your everyday fish here. That is a pretty sweet score for me, ain't it? Come on, come on. Flip-flopping around. There we go. Look at that. Well done, Pops. Well done. That is a good looking fish. Okay, as I was saying before my dad smashed a massive trout, we've got butter. We've got salt and pepper. Pretty unassuming, right? However, here is the secret ingredient. Dill weed. I I've had a it. lot of... Hey, stay on your side of the boat. I've had a lot of people tell me, you gotta use this. My friend Tyler, actually, he's been giving us the bomb jiggities that we've been slamming the fish on today. He said, dill weed, one of my favoritest things to use on fish. So it's a pretty simple recipe today, but I'm hoping this guy right here is what takes the cake for me. We'll see. All right, the pan's heating up. We'll start off with the butter, get it melted down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna throw a little salt in there with the butter to kind of infuse itself in with the butter and a little pepper. So it all kind of melts down together. Turn that around in there, melting down quite nicely. You guys know how it is, hashtag butter bath. Here is another ingredient I'm gonna be using today, a little Team Weber roasted garlic and Weber. herb. Not Weber, bro, it is Weber. Team Weber, Weber. Now you got me confused, yeah. dang it. Roasted garlic and herb seasoning. We're gonna put that right in on our, with our butter. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use that perch. We're gonna go with some perch fillets. Lay one right there, another one just like that. Now we're gonna take our dill weed. We're just gonna go right over the top of it. I really like the temperature we're at now. Just kind of keep moving that butter and all those herbs around in that, in that pan. So I put my little backpack right there because I noticed the wind was blowing away some of the heat from this. So we're gonna go ahead and try to flip these. That turned out well. We'll get a little seasoning on this side as well. For the last ingredient, I put a little lemon juice in one of these little wine coolers. I don't want to go too much with this because it can overpower the flavor really fast. Just a little bit, just so there's a hint. Look at that, guys. Slow cooked in that lemon, in that butter, in the dill, and the roasted garlic and herb spices. 
I'm really excited about this. It smells delicious. Everything was nice and slow cooked. Hopefully that will be the game winner. My recipe starts off with some oil because boys, we are fish. We are frying the fish today. Look, it's been so cold. The oil's having a hard time coming out. I'm gonna put my Cajun fish fry. I actually bought this in Louisiana. I had never seen this flavor before. And we were at a place in Louisiana, in Baton, I think it was Baton Rouge, called Tony's. And if you're from the area, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we are at Tony's and I saw this. I'd never seen this flavor of fish batter before, so I got it. We're gonna add some to a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna drop the fillets right in here to bread them up. I can't, is, I, that's, is that a, that's a big crab. That's too wide to be a perch. So I got some big crab. Do I want crab here or do I want perch? They're both so good. I think I'm gonna use perch, guys. Guys, I'm going for I'm going for the perch because it's hardier, and it, I think it will fry better. I'm sure both fish fry fine, but I'm going for the perch. I need to shake fish around in the bag. Look at that, nice and coated. Drop it right in there. Ooh. See how hot that oil is? That is gonna cook very fast. Oh, on a cold day, when you have fish frying like this, it's even better. So this fish is about where I want it. It's get, it's nice and crispy. Feels a little bit hard. So you take those pieces out. Look at that, look at that golden brown. All right, my friends, we move the oil off. On the bread for my sandwich, I'm actually going to warm up the bread and I put some butter. I don't want to have cold bread, the cold bread sandwich on a chilly day. So I just want to heat it up just a little bit, with that butter on there. That is what we want right there, guys. Just a little crisp bread. Then I'm going to add, if you guys have been watching these ketchup cook-offs, I usually try to make some sort of special sauce with it. And I have, again, a special sauce. I just like mixing special sauces. I usually just call it my secret sauce to intimidate Micah. Hey. It's pretty simple. Look at that, guys. A sandwich heaped with fish. And then we will simply add some pickles right on top. Aces. Fish sandwich. Voila. All right, Pops. Yes, sir. Um, who do you want? Uh, you go first this time. I right. went first last time, if I'm not mistaken. Here, I've made for you a fried fish sandwich with secret sauce and pickles. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Just let those flavors swirl around in your mouth. All Good right. place, no bones. Okay, Bread's not soggy, I like that. If you recall last time, the bread got a little soggy. Good thinking there, brother. Something's a little warm in there. Is it the pickles or the, the bread? For you today, I have a buttered lemon dill, roasted garlic and herb, perch filet. Perch filet. Pretty simple. No bread, no pickles. Will it be my downfall? Oh, that's good. Just let all of that just like a big old mm -hmm. circus in your mouth. Just. Mm -hmm. I see a scale. Oh, no. Bones. No. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Okay. These are both really good tasting dishes. I'd eat any of these anytime, anywhere. <clears throat> Having said that, <clears throat> I like the combination of flavor with this right now, with that thin bread mm -hmm. and the sauce mm -hmm. and whatever breading that is and the fact that <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know who, who skinned that one or who it. cleaned it, but <laughs> no, I hit, hit no bone. That's why I took one more bite. I thought I, I took three bites of that. I'm gonna take three bites of this. I'm gonna go with Ace's dish. No! Good job, both Two of you. Two and one. <sighs> I reclaim the lead. <sighs> Dang it. What? Bro. Nice job, bro. Dude, I want a bite of your sandwich. I want to bite Have some of, of that. Look, YouTube fam, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed both the recipes. We will see you guys in the next.